we're just gonna go vlog, all out vlog in this one. Um, lots of jumping around. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, Bola Buddies, this is going to be another vlog style video. And I recently posted a bread and butter Bolo video, looks like this. And I put it in my Facebook group, and somebody was like, But how long does it take you to list these items? Because I think it was like I turned 40 some dollars, like 42, $43, into $417 with bread and butter items, items that I sell for $35 or less. Items I source cheap and that are easy to find. And I'm like, they didn't take long to list at all. Which brings me into today's vlog style video. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about three items. And they're items that sometimes I don't pick up because they take me longer to list. I make decent money on them. They're usually a big money bolo. But they take longer. So I guess... I look at it as I'm going to make more money on these items, so I'm willing to put in the extra time. But these are three bolo items that you may not know about, or you might know about them. We'll see. But what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how I list the items. I'm going to show you how I search comps. I am going to show you how I find a box and how I cut the boxes down to make it cheaper for my buyer. So there's little tricks and tips that you can do. We're just going to go vlog, all out vlog in this one. Um, lots of jumping around. I'm going to show you some new mailers that I got. Just hopefully you enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments after you watch the video if you liked the vlog style, if you prefer me not to do vlog style. Would love your feedback. Trying to do a little more of these. Definitely always going to have bolo items and incorporate that style of information into it. This is my uh, quilt that I got at a garage sale. I was going to sell it and me and my husband decided that we want to keep it. And um, yes, I have a hair appointment scheduled. <laughs> so somebody wrote in um, one of my comments that they didn't like my hats. I'm like, well, too bad because <laughs> I love my hats. All right, you guys, let's get started. And I don't know about you guys, but I buy these things and then they sit and they sit and they sit. Number one, they're big. Number two, I'm almost afraid to see what we have in here. I mean, look at this. Ah, we have parts everywhere. I'm going to get this out of here and let's see if it's complete. And then we'll look at some comparables. All right. So this would be considered an item I almost didn't buy because, quite frankly, it's a big pain. <laughs> I have to figure out how to assemble it. Um, I'm guessing... These are going to fit into these holes. So I'm going to get this assembled. Uh, hmm. Looking at the picture. It looks like maybe these. Oh, there we go. So that's going to fit like that. And then you put candles. And I believe the candles, the flame makes the thing turn. But that doesn't really make sense, does it? I don't know why. If that's supposed to push down more. But look how cool it is. So this one is, says Christmas Carousel. I don't know who it's by. I'm going to do a little more research for you guys, but let me get this assembled. All right, you guys, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that that was very simple. Um, these just slid in. These just popped in. Everything is here. I also have these four pieces, which I have no idea. They may go to a different one because I don't see anywhere on the box that shows this. Um, I'm not sure how big the candles are. Let, wait, let's get the box here. So it looks like it takes this size candle, so it doesn't come even close to touching it. But somehow that flame is, I guess, is supposed to make it uh, work. I'm just trying to find a, a brand. It says Win World. So I'm gonna look this one up, see if I can find any comparables. Um, I know that some of these can do really, really well. So let's take a look. All right, so I found zero comps on eBay for this particular brand, which is really weird, but I did only check the last 90 days. But the weirder part is I went over to Worth Point 
put in this brand and I only found one and it sold for $35 in 2014, which um, I think is kind of on the low end. But again, I'm not familiar with this brand, but let me show you what some of the high dollar ones sell for. Okay, you guys, so I'm on Google Lens. If you don't have Google Lens, you definitely need to um, download that. It's super easy and it is a free application um, for your phone. So I took a picture and this is gonna enable me to maybe pin down my exact item based on photos. And you're gonna see here, I find my item on Etsy. And when I click on it, it's gonna open up the listing on Etsy it's not gonna tell me the sold price. And when I go in, I'm gonna have to see more details. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now I'm on Etsy and I can see that this item sold for $90. This is the same one that I have. They did not have the brand in the title, probably because they did not have the box. So this gives me a better idea of what I can list my item for. So Google Lens can definitely take you into other sites other than eBay to research your items. So um, I'm kind of just scrolling here, looking at some other examples. Um, so yeah, if you're not using Google Lens, definitely consider uh, adding that to your phone. Highly recommend it. All right, so now we are in photo room and I am going to start a batch and I am going to make these photos have a crisp white background. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this up and there's a button that you hit that's eBay and it will format it to fit eBay's picture size. So if you're pulled back too far, or you're, it's not centered, it will put your picture how it should be. And you can do this in bulk. Photo Room is amazing. If you would like to try Photo Room, I have a referral link down below that will get you 10% off your first yearly subscription. All right, so now I am on eBay and I am searching solds. I am searching for comps to figure out how I should list my item. And if you go into filter and you scroll down, see how I have it on sold? If you click these two buttons, that will lock it in. So every time you go in to your filter, it's automatically gonna go to solds instead of actives. So I start by searching high to low. That is always what I do because honestly, like I wanna see the big money ones. I wanna see the ones that are going for a lot of money. So that's what I have done here. And I'm just kind of showing you some comparables. This is gonna help me to figure out how I wanna list my item. At what price point do I wanna do an auction? Do I wanna do a buy it now? Um, I'm also going to search lowest first. And you can see right there, the first listing is the replacement um, windmill things. So that's a good tip. Um, if you get one of these and it's incomplete, you can definitely part it out, which we're gonna talk more about here in just a little bit. But you can see some of these are lower priced, but it's not complete listings and they're not the same size as mine. There's some more um, replacement parts, which is great. Great to know if I got this, I could have parted it out. And I don't think I checked it when I bought it. I just bought it. So I want to say my cost of goods was $4. All right, here's an item that I just sold. I got this at the Goodwill bins. It was in the original box. It was incomplete. So I went ahead and created this listing and sold these items for $16.25. And then I also have the blocks available in my eBay store listed separately. And so basically I got two listings out of this. Um, one item. All right, so here we go. I found the item that is similar to mine. I am going into eBay and I am hitting sell similar. I am going to add my photos first. So that's what I'm doing here. Once I've added the photos, I can go in and I can tweak my title. So we're just gonna let these finish up and then I will show you exactly what I mean. So I am back here now at the title. Obviously this is cell similar, so I need to go in and I need to make updates to make this fit my item. I do need to add the brand because mine does have the box. I did take out the measurements. Those will be seen in my actual listing and in my photos. And then we are going to go down to the item specifics. 
I typically will fix my title, put my photos in, and then I will go to my computer to finalize my listings. And I will show you that at the end of the video. But right now, what I'm gonna show you is how to update all the item specifics on your phone. I think this is so much slower than your computer. Tons of people list from their phone, and this is how you would do it. But I just, there's too many clicks. It's just so much easier from my laptop. So I sell similar from my phone, add my photos, then I go over after I've done that and I go to my computer and I finalize the listing, update my item specifics, update my description, update my shipping, do all of that over there. And again, I will give you a demo of that at the end of the video, but for this one, for those of you that like to list from your phone, this is what you would need to do. So I hope this is helpful. I don't normally do this. I find it very um, time consuming and much slower than listing on a laptop. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with me. If you saw that little pop-up, that was somebody's going live on Poshmark and everybody has been complaining about those uh, things popping up on their phones. And there's a way to go into the settings and turn off uh, Poshmark live shows. I haven't done it yet. I really just ignore it, but um, there is a way to do it. So if you're on Poshmark and it's driving you nuts, I think you can adjust that in your settings. So again, here you guys, I'm still just updating and adding to this listing, getting it ready to go. Um, I will not finalize this until um, I go in because I need to actually package the item. Okay, another reason I hate stuff like this. I hate bubble wrapping things. It takes forever. Um, okay, so is this gonna fit in the box now that it's bubble wrapped? Ah, let's see. Did it fit? Did it fit? It fit. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so I will more than likely put this box inside of another box for shipment. Um, just because it's kind of flimsy and I don't want it to get crushed during shipment. So I have to, to finalize my eBay listing. I will go down, I will find a box for this. We'll see. I'm gonna do a little more research, but I definitely think this is the perfect time to list this item. Okay, so I had those extra candle holders. I'm gonna go ahead and list them. Somebody's got an active listing for $24.99. Right, I have no idea why these were in the box. This one and this one have some damage. Um, I am gonna go ahead and try to list these as replacements and just see if I get any bites. I mean, they are vintage, so um, somebody may be looking for them. They definitely don't go with my set. So we're gonna see if we can make a little bit of extra money listing these separately. All right, so here's that eBay listing. I'm gonna build off of this one. I'm gonna click sell similar and I am going to add my photos. I am not gonna use photo room on these. I'm just going to um, take pictures right here as you guys see. Uh, I should use photo room. I'm being lazy. You're going to see my pictures are not going to look as good. I do have them in a white box. Um, it's called a light box. And, you know, that does help, but it's so dirty from use. Um, just, you know, you sit things on it and it just, it, it doesn't stay clean. I have to wipe it down constantly. So photo room is really, really worth every penny. I mean, I could go outside and take a picture in the grass all right, so I'm uploading my photos now, and you see I have to crop it to make it fit, where if you use Photo Room, it's automatically gonna do that for you. That's one of my favorite features of not only making the white background, but making it fit into the eBay um, window of the photo, so it just looks so good. All right, so I'm updating the title um, to make it fit my listing. And then that's all I'm going to do. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how I finalize the draft. So I've got my photos and my title ready to go. And then it's going to be, I'm going to save it and deal with it later. And that's why I have 75 drafts right now that currently need worked on. All right. So you'll see me scroll down and just hit save for later. But all Here's another amazing item that I almost did not pick up because it is very, very big. And I, I don't know, I don't like finding boxes, so I don't know. But I love fiber optics. I love them. 
This was $6.99 at the Goodwill. We are gonna take him out of here. I am gonna show you what he does. He's incredible. And I did test him at the store to make sure he works. So let's check him out. You guys tell me this dude is not incredible. He's incredible, I love it. Look at this ball of fiber optics. Look at his nose, look at his mouth. There's so much fiber optics. I wish it was darker. All right, I had to bring it into my bathroom where it's pitch dark. How cool is that? It's amazing. All right, I told you guys we were gonna be jumping around in this video. So now I am looking up comparables. I found one and it sold for uh, $69.99 best offer. So I really don't know what it sold for. I couldn't find any comps on worth point. So this is a hard to find item. I am going to price it high. Um, I did sell similar and I am adding my photos here but I'm also going to take some additional photos. What I did is I went over to, um, it's an app that I have, it's called Layout, and you can put two photos side by side, and that will, um, that's what I did for that first photo. But what I realized that I forgot to do, you guys, is I totally forgot, I'm showing you right now how I'm adding pictures. I totally forgot to take a picture of the box. So I'm going to show you how I fix that, how I resolve that issue. So stay tuned for that. I'm about to flip on my light for my ring light or for my light box. <laughs> so just getting front, back, side. There's a little bit of a dirty spot right there. So I draw attention to that. Any defects, anything like that, you guys are going to want to put that in your photo and your description. And I decided not uh, to fix that. I'm just going to sell it as is. Uh, I'm kind of a lazy reseller when it comes to fixing things. That's in the back. Nobody's going to notice it. Uh, somebody probably won't even fix it if they buy it, but we'll see. And then I also wanted a picture of the bottom and realized that I had run out of photo. Uh, I had used my 12 photos. So the one picture was kind of a duplicate. So I went ahead and deleted that. I went back and I grabbed a picture of the bottom because I feel like that's probably important for the buyer to see. And now we are going to go back to the main listing and I am just going to save it. Oh, I'm sorry, first I have to update my title. So photos and title and then save for later and it'll go into my drafts and I go over to my computer and I finalize my drafts. I think it's quicker. I just went light on the bubble wrap and let's hope it's gonna fit in the box. Fit, but you guys know what I forgot? Anybody got, a, anybody got any good guesses? Man, I can't talk. Oh, woo! Glad we saw that. I am gonna wipe off this box because it's a little dusty. This did come from the Goodwill. Um, I forgot to take a picture of the box and put it in my listing and I think that's important. So I'm gonna do that now. Right, that looks much better. It's just a little dusty. No big deal. Super cool item. I love it. I almost want to keep it because I love fiber optics. All right, I mentioned that I forgot to add the box. So I really want to add that in. So what I am going to do is delete that first photo. And then I went into layout and I added some pictures with the box. So I am gonna make that like my second photo there. And I'm gonna move the one with the fiber optics up to the first. So, um, and then I'm gonna kind of crop this down a little bit. Again, I did not use photo room, so I have to go in and crop. That is an extra step. So photo room is gonna save you an enormous amount of time. Save for Guys, later. Guys, just to give you a little idea, this is what I'm supposed to be getting to the basement today. That was my goal. But these two big Christmas items were sitting here and I just had to list them because Christmas is coming. I also have this doll right here. She's the look around velvet doll. And I think I'm gonna list her real quick also and include her in, oh, she's got a stink bug on her face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Live recording. Anyway, we'll get that stink bug off of there. Let's get her picture, but she is looking fantastic. Look at her face. Hello, little guy. I wonder if it's alive. It's alive. It's alive, just hanging out in my garage. Stink bugs don't bother me at all. I think they're kind of cute. So um, we'll talk more about her in a minute. But 
Guys, recall my garage that I'm supposed to be getting to my basement. Yes, this stuff. Do you know what's happening? I'm making piles. I'm taking stuff out of the totes and I'm listing it because I can't take it. I don't want to take it to the basement. It's such good stuff. I just want to list it. Now, I will say a lot of this stuff is already ready for whatnot. Some of this stuff um, I'm going to list before it goes to the basement. I, it's just, it's so much good stuff. I don't even know what to do. But anyway, I'm working on it. Just giving you a little update on that. And let's go ship those two big boxes. All right, you guys, this is one of those hair growing dolls, but I have never seen this thing on the back. Wait until you see what she does. Okay, so I am gonna pull this string and watch. What is happening? Has anybody ever seen this? I feel like her head's moving too. Let's see. I, I just have not seen anything. I'm trying to figure out the best way to hold this. I'm going to pull it from the back so you guys can see it from the front. Yeah, her head moves too. Look, what is happening here? What? I'm trying to hold her up. Can you guys see her back there? Look, her head moves too. Like what? Okay, now I'm confused. It, oh, it, sa it does say look around. It does say look around. Um, okay, so the hair. This thing on the back. Let's see if it's going to work. So you twist it, and her hair. See, it's going in. Uh-oh. I guess it'll. Oh, that little stink bug found me again. Look, I took it off outside. Maybe it had two on it. I'm not even going to put it outside. I'm going to sit it right there on my washing machine or my dryer. They really don't bother me. I think they're kind of cute. Okay, so I guess her hair only goes to there. But she has this little thing on her belly. And if you push it, if you push her belly, uh-oh. Let me see what's going on here. Maybe. All right, push her belly. Uh-oh. What did I do wrong? She's locked up. Oh, that's the thing about these old toys. I think... Um, oh, her one eye is being all creepy. Okay, ready? I pushed her belly. And then I can pull her hair back out. And now she's got long hair. Long hair down to here. Okay, you see how this is happening? All right, so then we're gonna go under here. We're gonna turn the knob. And it's just gonna shrink her hair up. So I don't think it gets super, super short. Oh my goodness, you guys, you are not gonna believe what just sold. First, I'm gonna show you footage from the Goodwill bins when I actually found this. This was a collaboration video that I did with Dad Planet. Definitely go check out his channel, it looks like this. And let's check out some of that Goodwill Bins footage. I do Goodwill Bins videos all the time. You'll see that I pop up screen shares of how I listed things, so I do keep it educational. So check out some of those videos. Um, I've had quite a few that I've popped up, popped up, that I've done recently. So uh, stay tuned for more because I've got more coming. But this item did take a little longer than I expected to sell, but I flipped it for a good profit. So I said, oh, I know him. And I sent him a message and I was like, hey, I just saw one of your viewers at the bins. And he's like, I was thinking about going there today. And I'm like, well, I'm here. You should meet me over here and we'll do a collab video. So he was out doing his thing and I went off to another thrift store and then we met back up here to do our bins challenge. So that's what we decided to do is we are gonna, here it is, you guys, look at all of these. I dug in this bin for probably 20 minutes, pulling out every single one of these Little Tykes vintage blocks. They're interlocking waffle blocks. And I felt like I remembered having them in one of my videos before. Um, that little bag was uh, a plastic uh, grocery store bag and it had the Duplo Legos in it. So I went ahead and grabbed that as well. 
but these uh, little tykes, oh my goodness, there were so many, and they were spread out among two bins. So I dug and dug and dug all of them out. Probably people were looking at me like I was crazy. There's also these little peekaboo blocks, and I'm gonna pop up my listings for those as well. Those do really good. I always pick them up when I see them at garage sales. I was really excited to see them still sitting in the bin. Again, these bins were completely picked over and this one sold in less than 24 hours. I probably underpriced it a little bit because it sold so quickly. Here's the other lot that I have listed. It is a bigger lot of 22 and the little tykes, I'm gonna show you that listing here soon. Now, what I did with the little tykes and I learned this tip from the Rebel reseller she said uh, one time she picked up a bunch of blocks, wood blocks, and she asked the manager if they could work with her on the price because they were so heavy and they were a set. So I did the same thing. I asked for the manager and she came over and she told me that I could have all of the little tykes blocks for $5. So I filled my cart with these. Now, it was kind of a pain. I had to lay them all out and interlock them for a photograph for the um, the listing. And I had them outside on my uh, in my driveway and it started raining. So then I had to wipe them all down. So it ended up being quite the task, but I'm hoping that it is gonna pay off. So you can just see me digging, digging, digging for all of these uh, little tykes and peekaboo blocks. There's some magnets in there that I'll probably hang on to and lot those up eventually. Uh, I like to pick up smalls and hang on to them and make lots of toys. That, uh, I really like toys. That's one thing you'll see a lot on my channel. I really like vintage Christmas. Here they are. Look at all of these. All right, you guys, they just sold for $81.25 buyer paid shipping. Woohoo! I paid five bucks for them. So super excited to have those go. They did end up taking seven months to sell. These are actually pretty big. They don't look big in the photo, but um, they are. And somebody just made me an offer on this. It is vintage Bucilla. Um, it's a kit. They offered me 50 bucks. I'm going to... I'm going to counter on this one at 75 because I haven't had it listed very long and it's a harder to find item. I'm guessing they will probably decline my offer, but hey, we'll give it a shot. All right, back over here at Photo Room. I definitely want to white out the background for this amazing doll and um, she does have a little defect on her foot, so I want to make sure I make note of that. You just saw the little pop down. Somebody gave me five star feedback on Poshmark. I do list on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So those are my three main platforms. Sometimes Etsy, but um, eBay is my main, main, my main platform. I use List Perfectly to cross post from eBay to the other two platforms. Um, if you want to check out List Perfectly, I do have a link down in the description of the video that will um, show you how this perfectly works, how to cross post with it, and you can get 30% off your first month with coupon referral code BOLA Buddies, all one word. That's all down below. All right, so right now I'm looking up comps on this doll, trying to figure out how I want to price her. She's really in pretty good condition. Her tummy kind of gets stuck a little bit, but I'm going to go off this one. I am going to hit sell similar and I'm gonna add my photos in and you're gonna see that nice white crisp background um, from using Photo Room. I just, I just think it looks so much better and it really uh, just makes your listing pop. And it's great for Google Lens when people are searching for items on Google Lens, your listing is more likely to pop up if you have a white background from what I hear. So I'm going to update my title. Again, I will save the draft for later. I will add a e uh, video into my description for this, and we'll talk about that later in the video. And I will also show you how I finalize this listing at the end of the video and how I price this item. Okay, these came in an eBay box. So I'm hoping that box is gonna work for one of these items, but I just pulled these out of the box. Have you seen the new colors? eBay, the magic is here. Aren't they pretty? So I use my eBay coupon to get these. Oh, wishes do come true. Let's see what this one says. Happiness in, in hand. I love the colors. Great job, eBay, with the colors. Great job. Here it is. This is the box. 
that the eBay stuff came in. I think it's gonna work. Ooh, push it all the way down. Uh oh. Oh no, it just came through the top. I was worried about that. Oh well, it's just a little bit. Anyway, so it's a little bit too big, so I'm gonna cut this down to size and um, we're gonna make this work. Awesome, perfect fit, kind of. Earlier, I don't know what this tool is called. I can't remember what this is called, but this is my knife, my box cutter. And somebody was asking, they said that this always stabs them and I agree 100%, but this one has a thing where you can pop it in. I ordered this off eBay, it was super, super cheap. Um, and this is what I use. Uh, so, oh, score, score. That's what it's called. Scoring the package, the box. Oh, it is hard to get back out though. I'll have to use my shirt to push against it. Ugh. Okay. You guys, so what I did is I cut off these top pieces here and I save these and I sandwich like stickers and different things that I, cards, things that I don't want to get bent in between them. So I keep that. I do not waste that. But this box did not need to be that big. So now I'm going to fold down the sides like this. And I'm going to tape this box up to make the dimensions as small as possible. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. For larger items, this is what I do. I package them before I list them. That way I have this information right here and the seller, or uh, not the seller, the buyer is actually paying um, what the item is uh they're paying actual shipping. And these are all items that are big, <laughs> that are packaged and ready to go. I think I showed you this in my Am I a Hoarder video. You guys can check that out if you wanna learn more about my how I package and how I store everything and where my inventory is. But uh, go check out that video. This is what it looks like. Here's the next thing I ordered from eBay. These are poly mailers and these are the big ones. And these are great for stuffed animals. I just love using these for stuffed animals. But I'm hoping this box is going to work for that fiber optic snowman. So let's find out. I'm going to say that that is pretty darn close. I'll put some filler or bubbles or something down along the side. Um, would it be ideal if it fit a little more snug? Yeah, but this is really pretty good. I mean, we don't have a lot of extra here. Um, I may cut it down just a bit to get that top uh, length measurement down a little. But... The width going this way is going to be a little wider than it needs to be, but I think it's going to be okay. So super excited to have a box big enough for this item. All right, just got some air bubbles to keep it from moving around too much. I did uh, cut the sides, so that's going to make it come down more and flatten out um, to take off, what, about two, three inches from the height of the item. So that'll make the shipping a little cheaper, I hope. Okay, I've got my cheat sheet. These items are all three packaged and ready to go. I've got the dimensions, the weights. Now we're going to go into um, eBay and we're going to finalize these listings. All right, let's go in and finalize these four listings that we did. And I am already in my manage drafts and you're going to see they're the top four right here. I have 75 drafts. I still need to finish up. All of them have their photos, but you saw kind of how I do it. I put the photos in, I grab the title, and then I come over to eBay and finalize just because it's easier for me to type from my computer. I, it's just how I do it. Um, some people list completely from their phones. Um, I like to do it this way. So I did use Photo Room to give these the nice white background. Looks so nice. Um, I am going to attach a video to the description down here. Um, I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel and attach it down here. One thing you guys need to know, um, to add the HTML, this is for you, everyone that uses this feature already, where you would add it to your description. You have to go to see more options, and then you have to click show HTML format, or you're not going to be able to add that video, okay? Okay. So that is an update on the new listing page. So I will go in and add that later. I'm not going to um, do all of that right now, but I just want to kind of show you where I'm at with um, finalizing this listing. So the title is good to go. I'm going to copy and paste it just in case, or copy it just in case it didn't transfer. My custom label is going to be um, big stuff because I put this by my, um, on my wall that I showed you guys. And I'm gonna put shoebox because I, uh, 
use the shoebox, a priority mail shoebox, and I had to use two of them to make it fit. But uh, that way I'll be able to find it easier. And I believe I got this at a garage sale, but I don't remember what I paid for it. So I'm just going to put a little question mark there. I am going to change my store category to toys. And usually my unique, or I'm sorry, yeah, unique, rare, different, and other category. Other kind of covers everything. And um, when people go into that category, they're going to see pretty much everything there that's vintage or different. Okay. Doll size. Did I do a picture of, oh no, did I forget to do that? I thought I did one with a tape measure. Oops. Maybe it tells on the box. I'm sure whoever's buying this knows. I'm just going to leave that off. Um, she does not have her shoes. So whenever you do sell similar, you do have to go in and you need to check these things because a lot of times, um, cloth and plastic, we can leave that. You will need to update some of these things. Her eyes were blue, girl doll. And I know the rebel reseller said she fills in the hair color and the eye color because she feels like people search those. I don't typically do that, but I, because she said that I'm, I've been thinking about maybe considering doing that. Let me know if you guys do that. Original straight hair. Well, I guess we'll just leave it since it's already done. I did not look at the year. Growing hair. Hong. I don't know if it's Hong Kong. Original opened. Let's see. Okay, so that looks good. She is used. Okay, some things that I want to note about this item. She does have a slit in her foot. Um, I'll just put damage. Um, also, sometimes her belly button gets stuck. <laughs> Item is vintage, sold in as is condition. I can spell. Um, and I forgot the pre-owned, played with, condition, box does show damage and discoloration. Because a lot of times collectors want to know about the box. I could not, I only had 12 photos. And I heard that eBay is talking about upping the amount of photos. So in this situation, that would have been nice for me. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. But let me show you something, you guys. I was watching a Zombie Bargain Hunter. All right, you guys. So Rachel Strickland did this thing where she stayed up for 20 hours. Tw I'm sorry, 24 hours straight and listed on eBay. And I'm not kidding. 24 hours straight. But here's the best part. Zombie Bargain Hunter decided that he wanted to stay up for 24 hours straight and do the listing challenge that Rachel did. So, so if anybody wants to do a 24 hour listing challenge, you guys should do it and hashtag it 24 hour challenge. Um, I will not be participating in that one. No, thank you. But anyway, this leads me into, I was watching this video by the zombie bargain hunter, and that is how I learned about the custom template that we're going to talk about right now. Shout out to both these channels. They are incredible. Go and sub them up and definitely check out their 24 hour challenges. You can just see them getting tired towards the end of their challenge, but incredible how many items they got listed. And I saw him click this custom template and I was like, what? And I have like always wanted to know how to do this. If, and I just put everything because this is what I put on everything. Well, shucks. It, it does kind of hiccup here. It's hard to get it to, there we go. Insert. Insert. There it goes. But it puts it at the top sometimes. It's not perfect. <laughs> But this is what I put on every listing. And it says, pre-owned, please see photos for condition and measurements sold as seen. So I put that on every listing. So I now have a custom template for that. And I just call it everything insert. Do you know how I created this? I hit create template. 
and deleted all this out and you can pick whatever title and then you could say see um my store for more great items and you could call that whatever you want to name your template you can name your template right here so see my store for more great items and then you can just pick whatever your template name is and then that would be under your templates right here how fantastic is that so i now have a custom template this is going to save me from typing that out every single time how did i not know about this i have been on ebay since 2005 and i did not know how to do a custom template so there you go you guys you might be like me um i'm just going to auction this and i'm going to start it at 59.99 um more than likely no one will bid on it because that's typically what happens with my auctions I'm looking at my cheat sheet here. It says 18 by eight by six, 18 by eight by six. And she is two pounds. And again, I wanna add that photo, so, or that video to the description. So I'm gonna come back to this later on. So I'm not gonna complete that one. This here was those replacements and I did not do the photo room background. Um, here's one thing that I want to show you guys. You can click on the listing and eBay does have a white out your background. So I'm going to click that and it says frame your item and I'm going to hit continue. And eBay, you really need to work on your <laughs> white out your background ground. It, it's, it's horrible. You guys, um, please do not do this and put this in your listing. That does not look good. Uh, so I am going to just cancel that and put it back to normal. Um, I did have this in my light box and I was just trying to do it quickly. So I did not use photo room on this. Do I feel like I should have? Yeah, my pictures would look a lot better. Um, if you guys want to check out photo room, there is a link down in the description. If you use that link and you purchase the year subscription, uh, you get 10%. <clears throat> If you purchase the year subscription, you'll get 10% off for um, photo room for the year. So that links down below, that is my referral link. All right, so I put this in tote F, so I wanna mark that. And this, as you remember, came inside that other, um, that other box. So really, I'm gonna say my cost of goods was zero because this is just kind of a bonus, right? I am gonna put this under first class, and also i'm going to put it under christmas and it is a pyramid windmill carousel replacement so i can just go ahead and leave that a uh, number of items i'm just going to clear all this out a lot of times i will just take these things out i don't know which one that goes with um i'm going to take that out all of this is going to come out i can leave gold these are used and okay, let me, I'm gonna tab down once and see if this puts this in the right place. Insert, there we go, yay! Pre-owned, please see photos for condition and measurements, sold as seen. Oh my goodness, it feels so good not to type that. How did I not know about this? Thank you, Zombie Bargain Hunter. I know you didn't show me how to do it, but uh, you mentioned it and made me start digging. So um, thank you for that. All right, so we saw the one that was an active listing for $24. I am just gonna put a buy it now of 20 on this. I'm going to allow offers. My sale will kick in. I believe I'm doing 35% off right now. So um, these probably weigh about six ounces. I'll just leave that measurement. It's not that big of a deal. If it's a little bit off, Priority mail. I always offer priority mail as a secondary option in case somebody needs their item fast. I do offer calculated shipping and a promotional rule of $5 on first class items. When you add those items to your cart, you're going to get discounted shipping of $5. Where did my, hmm, the promoted thing disappeared. It's supposed to be there. So I'm going to list that item. It's ready to go. And something is invalid weight of package it didn't grab it okay so let's try this again that's been happening lately is that happening to you guys and that's probably why my promoted wasn't there 
they're suggesting 4.5%. So I'm just going to list it with that promoted. That's fine with me. So right now I'm just kind of trying to give you guys some of the tips and tricks that I use to create listings. This one, um, I forgot to do a video, which kind of stinks, but I did do a video for this video. So maybe I can uh, crop out some of that and actually put it into the listing. So I'm just going to get this one ready again, and I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to finalize it. And this one was the Goodwill. So I'll put GW and it was $6.99. My category is going to be, where's Christmas? Christmas. And again, we're just going to go with that unique, different, rare and other. And I only found one of these. So I am going to price this one high. I'm not even going to fill out any of this. What's it under? Holiday seasonal. Yeah, that works. Used. Original box. Um, okay, so we're going to space once. We're going to go insert. And there it is. I'm going to put tested and working. Please see video in description. And then I'm going to take this. And I'm, whoops, actually, let's take all this here, right here. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it right here. Now you will not see this section on your phone. It doesn't exist. I don't know why it doesn't exist, but you definitely want to add that here under the condition description under, so you'll put new or used. It won't pop up if it's new, but if it's used, you can put that information right here. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to try an auction on this and start it at $99.99. I do allow offers. The only way I take an offer is if it is higher than my starting price. And this thing is six pounds. This is why I package it beforehand so that I can put accurate information in here so that my buyer is paying for the exact shipping amount. Okay, so again, save for later and I'm gonna add a video so that people can see what that looks like. All right, so we got one more here and we may just do an auction on this one too, just to kind of feel out the market. This one was the one that I kind of went in and I filled out the item specifics for you from my phone as if I was gonna list it from my phone. I don't normally do that. But all of this information is going to be accurate because I already did it on my phone in the demonstration that you saw earlier. I do need to remove that right there. Um, did I add big stuff, garage sale? Okay. Uh, so we are going to go to my template and we're going to hit insert and it inserted perfectly. So that is great. Sold as seen. Um, I never go by this suggested um, starting bid from eBay. No, I'm not. <laughs> if if you start your item at 99 cents, it might just sell for 99 cents. So I do not recommend that. That's just me. I start my auctions at what I want to get out of the item. So if this does not sell, I will more than likely put this at $150, let my sale kick in and offer best offer. Um, I may even put it at 175. I've got to work out what 35% off is. And, you know, I hope to get about a hundred bucks for this. All right. So four pounds and it measures 17 by 11 by eight. And priority mail is there and ready to go. And I don't need to do anything else. So we're going to make this a live Listing, was there anything else that I needed to note? I'm trying to think. Um, I'm going to put no candles. No candles. And then um, I, I think that's it. All right. Oh, let's put box does have some, does have some damage from age. Okay, that covers our bases. That way, if it's a collector, they know that the box is not perfect. All right, you guys, that took a long time. Um, these listings are items that 
they take a lot longer to list. Um, they are all three pretty good bolo items, I would say. Definitely things you want to be on the lookout for. But packaging, finding the right box, adding the bubble wrap. They're just, I like the little smalls that I can just shove in a bag. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.